This test today is different because of the characterization of the entire vehicle. Today we managed to have the prototype here, which has completely functional hydraulic system, electric systems, so complete active aerodynamic is working and is fully functional with all the performance and the control logic on it. The wind tunnel test is very important because based on these results, we are correlating and validating our numerical simulations, the numerical models, but also from other way we can see what is the effect of the wind on the car efficiency, on the cooling performance, on the active aerodynamic systems, how they are stable, how they perform with the wind load. In reality, it's not um, very safe necessarily to go at 300 kilometers per hour. As you know, we have a very high speed vehicle. So that's one interesting challenge we need to do in the wind tunnel first. So we can evaluate how much downforce the car is um, producing under braking. So as you brake, the car pitches downwards and it produces more downforce. And now we are able to characterize this and based on the performance we have, we can say, okay, it's safe and it's not safe. The main challenge is to keep very low drag for that car that will give us the high range, but at the same time to have very truck performance vehicle, which can have high downforce value, because usually the drag has been increased with the downforce, then you're looking just for aerodynamic efficiency. And that gives us a lot of challenges in terms of active aerodynamic systems. We had to position some of the active components to be able to bring the car to different states of operations. All the temperatures are on much lower scale than in combustion engines, so you have to have the much higher cooling efficiency. We are trying to set up the final configurations of the rear wing height, rear wing angle. Uh, we are trying to set up the correct position of the diffuser flap and also other systems in the front of the car. For sure, we, we have a very unique car. It's a very high performance car and it's unique in its own way. And that's why it's important that we do these tests to ensure that the end user gets the best product at the end of the day. In terms of performance, range, efficiency, we need to ensure we make all the targets. So while we have this one car in the wind tunnel, we have other cars doing various other tests. But before we can continue with our other high-speed tests and to further refine our product, we need to do this test. So each car has its own um, path it needs to follow and its own part it needs to play in the development process. You can clearly see we're willing to put in much more. It's like all exciting, all new, and you will see that in our end product. And I'm sure like people will appreciate that. And when you come to testing facilities, they also see that and they almost kind of feed off that, I feel sometimes. Because we are a young team, we are a young company, but also we, are, we want to prove ourselves. And I, I think it shows.